is the Republic for which he stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Um, due to the current federal and state emergency declarations and the guidance for social distancing due to COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic, this meeting of the Montevideo School District the School Board is being conducted in accordance with the Minnesota statutes, uh, meetings by telephone or other electronic means. Persons may monitor the meeting from a remote location by going to the district YouTube channel with an access which can be accessed by the district website. Um, individuals wishing to leave comments to the board may do so via email at address the board at montevideoschools.org. This meeting is live streamed and recorded. Access to the recording will be made available on the district's website as soon as is reasonably possible. Roll call. Stenson. Here. Morgan here. Franzel. Here. Snell. Here. Allison. Here. Hoover. Yeah, I don't think so. Franzel Hecky. Present. Franzel Gray. Here. Corinna Helener. Yep. Here's Wally. Maybe not. Is it from here? Yeah. Here. Here. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Approval of agenda. Here, do you want to next call, call of the meeting. The call of the meeting is to discuss the executive search or superintendent search process and also for communication strategies relative to the final days of the operating referendum. Right. Anyone have any motion to accept the agenda? So moved here. Thank you. Second. Thank you. Davis. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Uh, roll call, sorry. Andrew. Aye. Kelly. Aye. Travis. Aye. Joe. Aye. Aaron is an aye. <clears throat> One point five. We don't have anybody to address the board. So discussion items two point oh, two point one, executive. Search process. Kelly. Um, so we've received proposals from a couple of different um, search uh, consulting firms, School Exec Connect and MSBA. Um, after Where was School Connect out of? School Exec Connect was out of Oak Park, Illinois. They have completed some searches in central Minnesota, uh, but most of them are larger districts. Marshall, Wilmer, St. Cloud would be the closest in size to us. Um, their fees were um, 12,500 with additional expenses not to exceed $2,000. Um, those are like travel expenses and things like that. MSBAs um, only works with search they only conduct searches for member districts, and they've helped 21 districts just this past school year. Uh, their fee is $8,500, and it includes a um, workshop, like a two-hour plus workshop for board to attend. Kind of they kick off the process to help us know what we need to know in order to complete the process. Um, Was there no other Minnesota groups? I did not receive proposals from other groups. Yeah. Um, based on this information, um, 
I would recommend that we use MSBA. I think that to a workshop would be a great way to kick off. They're familiar with us and with other schools our size. We work a lot with outstate um, school districts. Um, and one of my thoughts is in talking with their folks is that if we wait until right after the election to do this workshop, we can hold it as an open um, work session like this, and we can invite those newly elected school board members to participate since they will clearly be involved in the bulk of the process. So they did give us some dates. Uh, and I can go over those um, unless there's other conversation that anyone wants to have about the executive search. They did suggest that we be moving here in late October, early November. So if there's not questions, I can throw out these dates in November and we can try to nail something down. Um, November, 10th would have to be after 7 p.m. So I'm not sure that's the greatest idea. Um, November 12th is a Thursday. November 17th is a Tuesday. There is one that um, this week, they're open. They can do any time. They could do midday. They could do evening. Those days, they're wide open. So it would really be what works for us. I guess in my mind, I was thinking like 5, 6 o'clock like we've done other times. But whatever you guys want to do. Um, there is one on Monday, November 23rd, which would have probably been a, re a work session that we were planning to hold anyway, if you wanted to um, wait until then. It kind of pushes us out. Yeah, the 10th and the 12th and the 23rd? 17th, 17th. 17th, 19th, 23, 24, and 30 are the days that they're open. And any time on any of them except for the 10th, that one has to be at you know, 7 o'clock or later. Yeah. Kelly, did they say how long they anticipate it would be? Yeah, it, it would be about two hours. However, they'd stay as long as we had questions. But what they present is they have approximately two hours. So it's not that we couldn't do that 7 o'clock. On, on the 10th if we want to do it sooner rather than later. But I just wanted to have a bunch of dates so we could find something that works for everybody, or the majority anyway. Well, that was my schedule's not too full, so. <laughs> I think the, the week of the, Almost every day is open. Yeah, in November. The week of Thanksgiving is probably not fairly good. Sure. <laughs> That's good. What well, we said, like the week of the, the 23rd, 24th. Yeah. I was going to say, for me, the week of the, the 10th uh, probably does not work out, uh, unfortunately. But the, the 23rd, I know Andrew just said that's the week of Thanksgiving, but that Monday, I would could make that work. But go with the majority. What about the week of the 16th? Yeah. The 17th or the 19th? So Tuesday the 17th or Thursday the 19th, Joe, would be um, dates also. Would either of those work? Yeah, either one of those would work the 19th preferably, but I could make the 17th work as well. I don't think I have anything on my phone either, so. I'm pretty free. I don't know why. I can why. take COVID to that, I guess. Weird. Yeah, weird. Travis, what about you? Yeah, that would be good for me. Either one, the 19th would be fine. <coughs> so, yeah, the 19th, actually looking at the schedule. With at the 6 o'clock? Okay, so the 19th at, yeah. Or five or six, I don't care. I can make any time. Joe, would, do you have a time preference? Nope, I'm flexible. You want to do, do you want to do five so we can get out of here quicker? Or? Yeah, sure. Right. Okay, 19th, 5 p.m. I'll get back to our at MSG. Okay. I might email her right now. Just she did say they were starting to fill up their dates. Nineteenth and 
five o'clock. <laughs> that work for you, Dr. Allen? Mm -hmm. okay. We'll just want to, as soon as we know who is the newly elected people, get them that table, get them the state as well. And sure. Them. Do that, or we have it all. Michelle can do that. Now it'll be virtual. She, they will not be here, so we'll have to ask Scott to help us with this thing too. Okay. But we can all be here if we choose to be. Okay. Okay. 2.2 communication strategies. All right. So that was the agenda item that I threw out there because we're seven days from our election. Mm -hmm. And I uh, wanted to gather or have a discussion and I, I put some thoughts down about, you know, last minute push on the property referendum that's, that's out there. Um, so I just wanted to open it up and see what what people were thinking about what's working and what's not, and what we want to try in the last few days. So again, I have some ideas, but I don't want to riddle the conversation. <clears throat> um, well, I shared a couple of um, graphics with Dr. Heller that um, another district down south was using just um, simple, like, question answer on a Facebook post. You know, something, I don't know, I just feel like when I'm scrolling on Facebook, if I can't capture it in as long as it takes me to do this, I'm probably not going to stop and read all of it. So this was like just very clean. Why does the district need this? Well, uh, one part of that was when's the last time the district asked for money? And sure. you know, it was just very simple question answers that um, I liked the way they had that they had handled it. I don't know. It's a communication strategy, or if we're kind of done with social media, if we want to keep pushing it there. It's hard with the early vote. I think a lot of people have voted. Yeah, you know, like nation, nationwide, I think they said what twenty five percent or something like that, which is more than you sometimes get in a whole yeah. turnout. So, so yeah. it's a, it's a lot, right? They're thinking that could be half the voters. Well, yeah, they were, they said that like what is there one hundred and sixty million registered voters? Uh, it's probably wrong, I'm guessing, but in a, there's a, a huge number of them have voted. Yeah. <clears throat> So some of the things we've got going, we've got the, uh, we've got another referendum informational session coming up on Thursday. Okay. And this is Thursday? Yep. Yeah, this Thursday at six o'clock and it's on Zoom. Okay. So that's, that's coming up. We also, um, today, an email went out to all of the the families and such with um, information about the informational meeting and also with a link to the um, video on the tax impact. Yeah. Um, there's been a number of videos. Vera has worked with um, Zach and our faculty and there's been a number of videos done and posted on social media and also linked to the web page, I believe. Dr. Heller, how many, do you know how many people attended the first couple Zooms of the information that we've had so far? They, the first one we had uh, two people in attendance. One was Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big audience. So there, but... <laughs> yeah. um, can we tell how many people have gone back and watched it? It was recorded, right? Yes, and there were, the last I heard, there were, there had been 45 people who had gone back and looked at it. And that was short, that was not too long after it was posted. Is that, is that posted to YouTube? Or is it? Yes. Okay. And so, there's also a, I think, is there a link to that off of the web page as well? Yes, I believe that Kim put a link on the web page too. 
Okay, thank you. You know, my, my, my reason for asking that was, are these, is that 45 people that maybe popped in for 20 seconds or is that 45 people that have really, yeah. you know, you can listened see, to I mean, a fall, you look to the majority of it? Yeah. You, you have some pretty good statistics if you have time to dig into it. Yeah. It is what it is, but just was curious. Yeah. So, um, I was, again, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, know, you shared what you've got planned. I, the, the idea I was playing with was, you know, starting Wednesday. I'm, I'm just picking the day, right? But it's a, pick a controlled number of days, right? And if we've got five messages we want to get out, right? We want to get out question one, question two. We want to get out a little bit about the history. And I wrote down, um, you know, something to the effect that this has got 100% student impact, right? Mm -hmm. And Scott's got a, some really good data that we could boil down to a couple snapshots that would show that. And then, you know, so I have question one, question two, 100% student impact somehow, previous spend, which again, they're linked, and then a success story. And you've got a few of those out there. Mm -hmm. And so I was playing with the idea of, from a, just a solely a, a social media standpoint, can we boil these things down to like Kelly, like you shared with me and Dr. Heller and um, who else? But question one, technology focused, 100% student impact, tax neutral. And it's just not not employee, not employee driven. What's that? Not employee driven. Or whatever, just something like boom, right? Thunderhawk logo. Right? And and I was playing with the idea of what's and this is where I this is where I don't have any statistics but what's the right frequency through the day because you can start on wednesday you can have those five messages and you can use them repeatedly and you could you know i had i had 7 a.m 10 a.m 1 p.m 3 p.m and like five or seven because then you, you can get some lasting stuff at the beginning and the end of the day when people wake up and start flipping and or when they're sitting on the couch watching tv flipping those are maybe your, your you know your success stories at the end of the day, right? This is the thing I'm complaining about, right? We have, maybe have the vast majority of the content. It's just, maybe it's just boiling our content down to, you know, you know, question two, program expansion, target areas, one, two, three, or, or just target area, right? Pick a couple, right? And then I think it's okay to see tax impact, right? Yeah. You can just say it, and you can always have your link in there that says, you know, Go here for more, right? And then you know, I you know somebody else got to get more creative than me on um, how do we portray the student impact and the the success story. I mean, we got three or four good videos. Yeah, there. I think the videos were, were good. There a minute and a half. People watch those. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's a good capture an audience amount of time for for that kind of message. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then again, Scott's chart of all previous spend over the course of a few days, you can just say what we've done, right? And again, hit that six days in a row or whatever. And what do you guys think of that? I'm happy to That's come good. in in the morning and help if I can, but. Yeah, I think I think it's a good yeah. idea. I think quick snapshots is what people are. If we're going to use yeah, social you media, you that's what it's about. Wait a long time. No, it's you lose before you. Can it's okay to put at the end of the day, put the video yeah. because I think you know yeah, you get somebody know. watching that, right? But right. I think one of the things that, that I included in the tax impact video was was something that just came as an afterthought as I was preparing for the last um, main referendum meeting that we had was the the fact that for for every dollar in tax levy there's a dollar and 17 cents in state, state aid money yeah i mean that's a and, and and that that comes it all granted comes from your taxes but you, know, you can save the dollar in taxes if that's important to you you don't want to spend that but the dollar 17, the dollar 17 dollar. if we don't take it somebody else is going to yeah. 
so that was my train of thought and, and like i don't know we we have facebook and we have twitter i don't know if we do anything else but i think that i think you can synchronize those messages right you yeah. can get them all synced up, right? okay. chairman may i ask a question yes you may how many of the board members besides kelly who was president actually watched our informational meeting Andrew. So you saw some of the nice layout that Don Zimmerman put together for some of yeah. those. Students. Yeah, that's my point is we have the content. Yeah, it's there. I think we just need to boil it down to really quick, simple key messages. You have the content, right? Yep. There's very, I think there's very little that needs to be created. <clears throat> but there's a few, some of the posts are just, they, they get a little wordy, right? Right. And, and, I want to make sure people get to soak up what Mr. Foley and, and the others are saying, right? In yeah. some of those key messages. So. There was one infograph that I just felt was like just it was a lot of information. It was if you're looking on a phone, you can't you know, you couldn't even see it because there was so much there you had to try to stretch it to get it big enough. Um, it was all good information, but could have maybe been four or five or six different infographs. Okay. And that, and that's why I, that's why I'm saying yep. split it up over the days or multiple mm -hmm. times because then you can get all that content out and it's repeated. And then would Don Zimmerman do that for us? Or who would do that? Well, I mean, if Andrew wants to come in, we can take a look at that and what things we want to look at. We can. We can. I mean, I can help you with again if the content is created, you can get it out there. Yeah. Um, and you'll, then, need, you'll need to come in on a day that Kim Kuhlman's here because she's the one that puts all that out on the out on our social media. Okay, that's okay. I mean, and again, I don't I don't know that we need to have you six very different days of stuff, right? Yeah, it can almost be the same, right? Right. Play it three or four different times. Well, I mean, look at the rest of your Facebook. Right. You get the same ads all the time. Absolutely. Right? Um, the other thing that I had a question about was what if we as a board, I mean, because what we need people to do is with this really good content is to be getting it to everyone because our Facebook page only reaches like, you know, this one little pillar, right? People that have kids in school primarily, right? Yeah. <laughs> so how do we get it to other places? We need some sort of a, a push or a rollout or I don't know. I mean, is it as simple as, you know, hey, faculty and students, can you, these are the messages we're going to be putting out. We'd appreciate your help to like and share this with your, your community so we can get the word out. I mean, it's, I don't think. Well, it, what's, I, I just need to ask a great question. What's appropriate for us as board members to, like, when, um, can we say, can we take that, cut it, put it on our first sure. page, and say, sure. and say, vote for this? It's important for our kids. Yeah. I didn't know if at some point we yeah. can't influence well, a vote or something. You can. You can certainly, as a, <clears throat> you can certainly, if you're not doing something that is directly tied to the resources of the school, you can certainly encourage people to vote right. for something. Um, you can't you can't post something on the school's website saying oh, yes. vote yes. Oh, yes. Sure. But you can on your Facebook. But you could on your Facebook. Oh, that's and what I, mean, I wanted to say. Oh, yes. that, and that's the thing, like I'd be that direct. If if you're a supporter, we'd like it if you vote you know, share it, like it, and if you're willing to support sure. us by saying vote for us, we'd love that, right? Yeah. That's just, that, that's all it would be, right? Mm -hmm. Or of it, you know, my video school board, right? Yeah. yeah. But but you should probably avoid referring to anything coming from the my video school board. Okay. It should come from you as an individual. Right. Because then then if you okay. so if I put it out that it's coming from the board as a collective, they, you're kind of crossing that line. Okay. Okay. So that's that's why I'm asking, what right? I was trying to ask. That's why I'm asking, right? Yeah. I mean, what can we do? 
So we as can, a mom, as a community member, yeah, I can, can say to all that, my yeah. friends, hey, this is a good thing. Yep. But we, but you, what you're saying is we can't have a JFC message that says, hey, the school right. board. Right. Okay. Right. right. Okay. So you can't you can't use you can't use school resources and and you can't do it as as a board of education. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's the whole. That's the tipping point. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Joe, you had something that we talked about earlier. Did you get any deadlines on that? <clears throat> no, I didn't. Um, it's just you know I was thinking too. You know we have a lot of people that don't get on the Facebook. And I know, unfortunately, due to COVID, the, what is it, what do we even call it anymore? The Star Advisor is pretty thin, but we know that that at least hits every household in the school district area. And I'm gonna imagine they're looking for stuff to put in there. Do we look at putting in a half page or a full page coming up this weekend? No, we did, I believe, I believe we did put an ad in there or a a copy of the flyer of the mailer we put a a copy of that in there that was a, i believe it was a half page for this past week or uh, this coming up coming like this i'm week? not sure which week it was but i i know that um, michelle had, had lined that up okay. yeah and, look and, and it was going both into the Star advisor and into the paper itself. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at the one that was this weekend, the 26th, and I don't see anything in there, so maybe it's for this weekend coming up. It's possible. Okay, that'd be great. Because that's what the only other thing you're going to get out to the whole yeah. area, people, a lot of people, yeah. in any kind of tangible form, right? What else? Dr. Heller, didn't we have some articles in the paper as well? Yes. Yep, we have we have articles going in and then also they uh, tie in with the the articles tie in with the material that's being covered in the news and views okay. interviews. And there's a video going on to KDMA's um, webpage on the um, over the coming weekend with the tax impact video. Be on there on their website. Yeah. yeah, that one got pushed out the other day, right? Same video? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I don't know. What else do you need from us? So, I think those ideas are good. And what day do I need to find time to come here? Thursday. I just see I'll uh, and then no, Scott and Vera, do you have 
I don't know what to call it, like the, the native files of some of that stuff that's been put together. I've got a, a Facebook crew that I might throw some of that to and just to maybe get some of this, you know, maybe I'll just have some stuff we could create. I was kind of thinking on that one line too. I didn't want to make a commitment, but <laughs> well, I, mean, I just I don't. Try to, I have I live with someone that's pretty good. That's yeah, so, she's got that great software too. Then yeah, and so if there's some of those basic files, I don't know if I can pull it from the videos. You know, you know what I mean? So you if there's like with if there's whatever the native files are, we can yeah I forgot what we need on, but if I can somehow get some of that. I mean, I can watch the videos and, and see it, but I probably need some other content. I think I've got a couple of the PDFs. Okay. Yeah, like the stuff, some of the charts that Scott's made with, like all the different. Texas. Well, we're all the, all the spin. You know, the year one we did this, year two we did this, and you can grab pieces of that. So if, we can, if I can get some of that just emailed or whatever, yeah. I can uh, consult my Facebook. So I'll move? My, my wife. Yeah. <laughs> She's not watching, so she doesn't know why I signed her up. Pieces we don't have like a for the lack of a better term a vote yes committee right right no and that was that my train of thought was how do we how do we get a quasi vote yes committee by you know just asking people to yeah. like and share right as many people as you can to share it too you know yeah yeah so. That's all we got. Anybody have anything else? Oh, it's not on the agenda. <laughs> I know it's not on the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to make it adjourn? So moved. Thank you. Second. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, we will call the meeting adjourned. Thank you.